Where do the lanterns go as they float down the river? Well, let's go on an adventure and find out. In This Was Our Pact by Ryan Andrews. Hello everyone, my name is S Comic Maker and welcome back to another graphic novel review. In this video we're going to talk about this amazing and beautiful book while I illustrate my favorite scene from it. For this drawing I made a couple mistakes which I'll talk about in the final thoughts section but I used Canson mixed media paper which wasn't a really great idea, my trusty Pentel brush pen that you all know I love, Windsor and Newton watercolors, a blue Crayola colored pencil, and Dr. P.H. Martin's Frisket Mask Liquid, aka Masking Fluid, which I've never actually used before and I thought I would be adventurous, but as mentioned, we'll get into that a bit later. This Was Our Pack starts off with a group of classmates going down the road on their bikes as they ride alongside a river filled with lanterns. During the annual Equinox Festival, the town gets together and decorates these lanterns with fish and sends them off in memory of an old fisherman. Supposedly, the lanterns are supposed to fly off into the stars, but there's no way that could be true, could it? They all agree that they will ride together no matter what in discovery of the answer to the question, where exactly do the lanterns go? This is where we climb inside the mind of Ben, who is telling us about the pact, but also about the fact that they have someone riding behind them. Nathaniel, who is the son of his dad's best friend, rides just behind them trying to keep up. The group of classmates that made the pact do not care for this kid, and they tease him at school. And this ride is no different. But as they roll on slowly but surely, the boys start dropping off one by one. The trek is too long and far, and there are things like taco nuts, Night and getting in trouble that stop each of them. But eventually they all leave behind Ben, who continues because he made a pact and he isn't going to be the one to break it. But he doesn't have to do it alone, it turns out. Nathaniel, despite the teasing, has still been following and while he didn't do the pact with them, since the group doesn't like him, Nathaniel swears the pact right then and there. And while he wasn't the person that Ben wants to do this with, the boys head out together, chasing the lanterns into the night. Lots of crazy and unreal things happen along the way. They travel with a bear, meet a potion-slinging old lady, get directions from a giant bird, and swim among the stars. The whole experience is absolutely magical and is a treat for the mind as well as the eyes. Man, is this book beautiful. Every scene, every color is so well thought out. Most of the time, we ride with these characters in settings that are blue to reflect the night, but depending on what's happening, we do get hints and peeks at other colors throughout the book. Ryan Andrews does a wonderful job at using color to change the emotions and feelings of certain scenes. Like when the boys get lost, the panels are gray to kind of reflect their feelings. The lights in this book come in brilliant and bright yellows or white and when things are dark, you are just swimming in black while the colors of the characters pop. I know I've compared a couple artists to the beauty of Studio Ghibli films, but This Was Our Pact really feels like it. You meet so many magical characters in this world and the details are just insane. Ryan Andrews is brilliant at creating worlds that feel real. There's actually a really wonderful video of him working on a page of this book on his YouTube channel and I'll link it in the description that you can go see. It's from a scene where the boys are a about to meet Madame Majestic, and it's just a beautiful image to watch him illustrate. From looking him up online, it seems that he works in a mix of traditional drawing combined with digital coloring, which really worked for this book. The drawing underneath the colors is just so charming and wonderful, and while the drawings themselves would have stood alone, the coloring just amplifies everything and gives the world so much feeling. Oh, you know what time it is. It's spoiler time. I don't typically talk about everything in the books I review, but sometimes I want to touch on one or two points that could be considered spoilers, so this is the section for that. If you are interested in this book and don't want to be spoiled, you can either mute or skip to this time. So let's get into it. 
The spoiler stuff I wanted to talk about was kind of specific to the scene I'm drawing and how some of the ending played out. I just have to say that I love the communication between Nathaniel and Ben in this book. I see so often that the adventures the characters go through are what bring them closer together, and while that is true for This Was Our Pact, the adventure isn't what brings them closer. It's the fact that the characters talk about the strain in their relationship. Within the first few pages of the book, we see the setup that Nathaniel is the annoying kid who hangs around, and Ben joins in on that mentality for a large majority of the book. So you see his actions still reflecting a dislike for Nathaniel. He's still mean to him verbally, and even thinks about leaving him behind at one point. But what brings them together as friends isn't just the fact that they've been through some things together, it also comes together verbally in a conversation between the two characters. There's a scene where Nathaniel and Ben are sitting in a boat looking up at the stars. I promise I won't get too in specifics about what they're doing in the scene because you really need to see it. But anyway, Ben brings up the fact that he didn't stand up to his friends about Nathaniel and how he knew that it was wrong. But Nathaniel Daniel understands why and stuck around even in the face of bullying. I'll read the dialogue in that scene for you because I just loved it so much. Hey Nathaniel. Yeah? About earlier today. Yeah? I should have had your back when everyone was making fun of you, but I chickened out. Don't worry, I get it. You don't want them to get the idea that we're friends because then they'd assume that you were just like me and they'd probably make fun of you too. Who knows? Maybe if I cared about being their friend, I'd do the same thing. If you don't want to be their friend, then why were you following us? Because you were with them. Really? Remember I hung back until they were all gone? I kind of figured you'd be the only one to actually follow through on the pact. And it looks like I was right. Oh my god, you guys. Communication like this, I just eat up. I love the fact that Nathaniel understood the position Ben was in and still trusted in them being friends despite the negativity he was receiving from his classmates. And I loved how Ben recognized that and how wrong and toxic it is. I feel like I see so many male characters, even young ones, having to be tough, but this conversation just felt so natural. These boys have known each other for a long time because their fathers are friends, and you can really sense that in this scene. From here, the bickering kind of stops and their friendship is solidified. They even talk about going on to other adventures once this one is over. I just adored the scene so much, so I had to draw it. Now let's talk about the biggest part of the book, where these dang old lanterns that they're chasing actually go. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Give the book a read, it is well worth their time. This book is amazing. The art is absolutely beautiful, the layout of the panels are so good, the details are incredible, and the colors are mesmerizing. From start to finish, the story really hooked me, so I would really recommend this book. I believe it's a middle grade book, but it was such a fun read, I would say get one for yourself. If you like the quiet worlds of Studio Ghibli films, then you will like this graphic novel a lot. Now for this painting. <laughs> I wanted to try getting a feel for Ryan Andrews' style. From looking at his work and videos, his process is a mix of traditional drawing and digital coloring, which is awesome. But it's been a while since I had used my brush pen and I was excited to start filling in some areas with black. But then I remembered that a while ago, I bought a bottle of Dr. P.H. Martin's Frisket Mask Liquid or Masking Fluid, and I thought with the values that Ryan achieves in his work, I wanted to try that out as well. So I made a blue wash over my drawing and after it dried completely, I added some of the masking fluid onto areas that I wanted to be my lightest blue. I am just probably way too impatient for this medium, but I will definitely try it again because after it dried and I was waiting for another area to dry it, I decided to try and remove the masking fluid off of the bear. I had done a test run with the supplies before I started on this and still I ended up ripping the paper all around this poor guy. I probably should not have done this to the bear in the first place and not over an already painted wash even if it was dry, but you live and you learn. <laughs> So I tried to make it look like it was just highlights on his fur by going in with a white gel pen. I don't think I saved it, but I always go through and edit my work digitally to fix up small mistakes afterwards anyway. But overall, it was a lot of fun to work on and I learned a lot while working on it. I was also playing with a style I hadn't worked in before as well, so that was also fun. You know, you should really stop rushing these things. 
Maybe test out some of your unfamiliar supplies in large areas so that way you know what your materials will do when you use them. I know, Banana Man, but I'm so excited to get started on the work. I'll do better next time. Good. Because next time, maybe you won't mess up when you peel the masking fluid off. Eh? Get it? Peel? Because I'm a banana? Anyway, Ryan Andrews, as I shared before, has a wonderful video on his channel where he works on a page from This Was Art Pact that I really recommend you check out. I'll leave a link for below as well as links to his website and all of his social media. Also, this book was published by First Second Comics, which has a whole slew of amazing and incredible books. I own a lot of titles from them that I really enjoyed, so I mean, you guys already know of my graphic novel problem. <laughs> but I'll leave links to their website as well as links to where you can buy This Was Our Pact. But that's it for me this week, guys. If there are any other books you would like me to check out, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you would like to see more graphic novels I've reviewed, check out the iCard here or see my graphic novel playlist on my channel. As always, thank you so much to my amazing patrons for making videos like this possible, and thank all of you so much for liking, commenting on, and sharing my videos. I appreciate you all stopping by, and I hope that we can draw together again soon. Bye guys.